morning, everyone. It's uh, Thursday, May 19th. Uh, it's great to be with you. I hope you had a wonderful Wednesday yesterday. Yeah, I hope you got together with somebody. I hope you did community uh, in Jesus uh, with, with someone. And, and, and through all of this, you know, what is, how is God um, challenging you? Uh, uh, what, what does it mean? What, uh, uh, how is his spirit guiding you? And Jesus always says, you know, take my words, put them into practice, right? Well, what does that mean for you uh, with, with all of this? Uh, we, can, we, we, we can always nod our heads in assent, but, but faith is an action word, right? Uh, you, you take it and, and you move out it. And I think uh, sometimes take those steps to, to connect in community. Uh, uh, for some people, it's, it, those are, are difficult steps. But remember, in Jesus, we can do all things, right? And when we do that, uh, we, we leave those lives of, of, of partial life, of little life, and, and, and receive the fullness of life that, that we have in Christ. We live large and integrated lives, right? Uh, so, um, but, but I thought that this is like the last day, the last little um, uh, uh, devotion that we look at with this series, this three-week series we've had, this resurrection living. And I, and I thought I'd get out this old diagram. Uh, this is a little triangle. And it's about relationship, right? Uh, we have the up relationship and the out relationship and the in relationship. And a disciple uh, lives in, in an integrated reality in these relationships. In this uh, series, uh, we started with the out relationship, right? We said that in the resurrection of Jesus Christ, it's, it's material. Uh, that, that is, when you, Jesus walked the earth, uh, he didn't just go up in a mountain and, and meditate and teach people how to, how, how to meditate and, and get away from the material world. No, his mission was with the brokenness. Uh, and with the, the people that were hurting, and, 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 and he healed them, and he fed them, and he raised the dead, right? And all of that pointed towards when he comes in all of his glory, and, and the material world, there'll be a new heavens and a new earth. This certainly will be burned up down to its elements, but then it'll be renewed and restored. And, and, and in a way, we probably can't understand, but it's going to be material. And, and the same way that Jesus rose, rose from the dead with a material body, so too will have a glorious body. Uh, our, certainly, if when we die, if Jesus hasn't come yet, our spirits are with Him, and yet when He comes in all His glory, we'll return, uh, and and all those are His. We'll have these glorious bodies, uh, the physical bodies, and live in this physical new heavens and a new earth. The resurrection is about living the material world, joining Jesus on His mission to push back evil and and to do good uh, and, and to share His love and to live in His love with with the material reality that He created and said again and again, "It is good. It is good." That's the out here, huh? Uh, and, and then the up is the idea that, that the resurrection is personal. Uh, who has redeemed me, a lost and damned person? Purchases one me from all sin, from death, and uh, from the power of the devil, that I might serve him and be his own, right? All those things, the I and the me, this up with God. Jesus demonstrated all these in his life, right? His ministry was out to, to, to the world, to, to the hurting people and so forth. Uh, but, but also he took time to be in prayer with the Father and 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 to be and talk about God's word and so forth. That's the up. Certainly, that there, that that personal component, the relationship. And so we have relationship here and relationship here. And this week we've talked about the in, the fact that that God brings us into community, uh, and, and and it's all through the resurrection, and all of these things are meant to be integrated, right? That, and I, and I love this. I've gone back to it again and again. But if we live our lives alone, our lives are partial. And piecemeal, they're not what they ought to be. We live our life. If we live, our, if we live our lives independently, we're not going to get to where we need to where we want to be. Where the longing in our hearts would 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 want us to be filled up, right? But when we enter into this reality, this uh, reality with God's people, we we live large. We can live a larger and integ more integrated life as God's uh, as God's voice directs us, right? And, and so this in is is really really important. Um, and and it's a and, and and by the way, lots of times um, individuals and and even uh, congregations, right? They they focus. Uh, this is out of whack. They, they it's it's not balanced. They, they may do a lot of the up, right? And they may not do any of the in or a lot of the up and a lot of the out and not so much the in. And so we have to work at being balanced and doing all three of them. And 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 the Bible kind of integrates all these things. I, I mean, just to, to go back to this verse again. Um, but you are a chosen people, a royal priest. How, how did I get chosen? Well, God chose me, right, personally. He died for me personally. His spirit touched me personally. There's that personal reality, but that personal reality in baptism makes me part of a people. 
Oh, and then the out reality is here as well because a people belong to God that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his, well, I'm sorry, into his marvelous light. And so you have the out declaring the praises in word and deed in his love. This is a balanced uh, snapshot of what it means to follow Jesus, to be a follower, a disciple. Uh, and, and so where are you in your life, huh? Do, do you have the, the, the up component? How is that? Do you have that time in prayer with God? Are you in his word, huh? Uh, and on the other hand, is that is it just Jesus in you? Or uh, it, uh, for some reason you're not doing the in because it's hard huh? or whatever? Uh, uh, hey, we got to change. You know, what is God's spirit? How's God's spirit guiding you to be more? May, maybe join a small group. Maybe be involved in, in, in one of the many, many places you can be involved here in ministry, right? Um, where, 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 maybe connecting with someone who is hurting. Whatever it might be, that in is really powerful. And, and where... Uh, uh, and then together we, we, we do the out and we do it individually as well in our lives. Where do we not care about those folks out there who are hurting? Where is this just about me and my belly button here or, or just about being part of the family here? I got mine. Uh, but where, where, um, where, where, are we, we, where, where are we going out to touch people here? And like I say, because each of us uh, are made different and because each of us are sinful, uh, we tend to be unbalanced. And so look at your life and, and, and look to grow equally in these things and to be balanced uh, as a follower of Jesus because this is how he lived his life. He lived in this up, in, out reality uh, and it was totally integrated. And this is what the resurrection of Jesus Christ gives us, this total integration of the victory of God, uh, connecting to him personally, connecting to one another's family, connecting to the world in, in mission. Um, pray about this. Uh, See how God's Spirit is guiding you and, and, and take steps in these places to grow. May God be with you. Uh, let's pray. Uh, dearest Jesus, uh, we thank you for your wonderful guidance and, and example on how to, to, to walk with God. And, and we pray that, that, that you might open our eyes individually uh, to see where, where, where you're calling us to take a step in each of these areas, where we're unbalanced, where we're not where we should be. Uh, and, and Lord, give no, uh, it, Touch us by your grace, that, that, that you guide us in your grace, that you chose us in your grace, and you'll grow us in your grace. Uh, we pray in your name. Amen. All right, we'll see you Sunday, God willing, and may God be with you. Bye-bye.